Hello guys, greetings from the Arab Emirates, specifically from Dubai, and I'm continuing with uh, my series of episodes about the Arab Emirates. We keep uh, discovering um, what's new here and uh, what they're building uh, that might surprise us. And this video in particular addresses starting in the Arab Emirates schools, or to be more specific, in Dubai schools. I was invited to one of them. It's a boarding school, meaning that students can live there. The school is open for foreigners. In this video, we'll give you a tour of uh, this school. We'll meet the um, personnel of uh, this educational institution and with some students who study here and will share with us what it's like to study here. So um, I teach computing at Repton, I'm part of the design and computing team. That goes everything from computer games design to computer-aided modelling, all the way up to programming and computer science and our post-16 um, provision as we're working with LEGO Robotics. And we're also focusing on the digital media aspect as well, so we're working closely with Nikon and we're creating a room and we're having some really innovative areas within the faculty. We've done everything from we've entered and won a cyber security competition within the UAE, we've also done 4 by 4 in schools where we've been lucky enough to go to the UK um, and we've visited Abu Dhabi. F1 in schools, we've been all over the world from Singapore to Texas and we entered the youngest ever um, team in the internationals and we've also won the nationals within the UAE many times. I've taught A-level in the UK and I've been here and I've taught IB. I think the IB sets our students up superbly well for university. I think whichever qualifications our students come out with, it's more the care that we give them across our team. We have a careers and guidance counsellor, we have a big post-16 team, we have universities come and visit us all the time and, and we have relationships with universities all around the world. Personalities and inspirational people from all across the world. We've had the Real Madrid team visit, we've had rugby teams visit, we have had Pogba's visited, um, Drogba's visited, um, Sylvester's visited, um, and on top of that we've had other people like we've had Alistair Overeem, UFC has visited and um, it's always great. They will come, they will tour the school, they will meet with some of our students. We've had astronauts, cosmonauts, um, we had Jessica Meir, who's an American astronaut, and she's also Forbes top 10 inspirational women. Year seven will go to the desert, they'll learn orienteering, and as they progress to year nine, there'll be more adventure camps based. Our younger students um, go to a camel farm and learn about the camel farming process. Dubai Aquarium in Dubai Mall, they've done behind the scenes tours there. We have a, a whole range of international trips as well. So just to name a few, we've been to China, we've been to um, America, Kennedy Space Center, we've been to Japan, we've been to Thailand, um, and the students have been, we've also um, working with Dubai Cares, we've built three schools in Senegal and we have a really good relationship and we receive messages from the school and updates and the community comes together to support that. We also have had rugby trips to the UK, netball trips to South Africa, um, so outdoor education is a huge part of life at Repton and something we're really proud of. We have many um, relationships with companies across Dubai and we're really fortunate that some of our parent community help out. So um, personally, even I've been with the design team, we've been to some Dubai businesses and we've looked at their modelling infrastructure, their design architecture. <laughs> This whole building is the design technology department. Uh, when walking through the corridor, we see tables, uh, chairs, and furniture that's all made by students with their own hands here at the department. And by the way, look at these cars. Um, kids here, they attend uh, Formula One, then uh, they um, do cars themselves and participate afterwards in cars of their own production. They've already been in uh, Singapore, in the UK, in the USA and um, Abu Dhabi, the capital of the Arab Emirates. <laughs> Guys, look, um, these um, skateboards are all made by students. Well, some of them were made by teachers, but the majority of them were made by students. 
and like to say a couple of things about this wall. Uh, this is a wicker home, students do it themselves and the process of constructing it is described here and it's worth mentioning that materials that they use here are recyclable. And now check out uh, this car. It was also made by students, so look how the wheels are constructed, everything here is made of a recycled material, and later they compete with this car using remote controllers. Uh, this car is small, but there are also big ones. Well, this is a miniature of Dubai, and this entire model, or this architecture, is created on a 3D printer by students. <laughs> studied at an American school before, I'd say the academic preparation here is much stronger and I would say lessons are way more difficult and the school itself is much stronger. Right now I would say that the hardest subject is business. And what subjects do you have? Business, biology, chemistry, physics, mathematics, Islam, Arabic, Spanish and English. I've got good friends here, they made me feel home during this year, people here are very good. I've got my own room, it's a lot of space in it, there are two desks for work, one of them I use for my stuff, one, one bed for me and a couch. As regards nutrition, the food here is very good and delicious. I always eat it. They serve three meals a day, breakfast, lunch and dinner. I also buy chicken, meat, other things like pasta or iced salads in shops and uh, cook for myself in the evening. There is a kitchen on every floor with um, a stove and microwave. We also have um, various kinds of sports classes after school. Today I had uh, rugby. Then for a period from September to December, we have a football season, top three, the most significant sports here are football, rugby and swimming. Yes, everyone must wear all this except for the time. We all have different groups. Boarding house has got his tie and there are eight more groups like ours. Every group has got its own tie. We held uh, tournaments between these eight groups, and there are football, competitions, basketball, we even had our small Olympic Games between these eight groups and the winner gets additional points. The level of competition is very high, we are in the best league, competing against top schools and we won the majority of our matches. I'm walking down the stairs right now and I just bumped into a photo of students, so which was made in Japan. I want to know that the school has a department in Japan that does outdoor teaching. And the program here is developed so that you study not only in school, inside the building, but also outside of it, outside of um, these walls. Students uh, visit various countries, among which are Switzerland, Japan, Singapore and African countries. It's a huge number of countries. Name a country, it's more likely that the students can visit it and they don't just hang out but focus on learning. This wall is also great, you just can walk by it. Uh, this wall describes the stages that students go through in the learning process. Here you can see year 8, uh, that is students of the 8th year. These stages are displayed, for instance, here you study metals, here applying math in um, science and so on. It's such a big uh, subway map. By, by the way, it's um, designed, as you can see, in the style of the London Underground. We 
are a British school with a hugely international flavour. We have over 80 nationalities at our school. The British curriculum, not being biased, is viewed as the best on the planet. And if you want to be a doctor, we have a medical society. So we get members of the community or people that have been to Oxford, Cambridge, your Ivy League universities to study medicine come in and the students with the like-minded aspirations speak together. I think a Reptonian is a Reptonian for life. If you look at our results, all of our subjects do really well. We have a hugely strong English department. Our art department uh, wins awards at World Art Dubai. We have had a gallery at DIFC. Our music department, they play at Dubai Opera. Our languages department gets phenomenal results and our students really find their passion for languages. Maths, we take part in UKMT, which is a maths challenge. We get so many gold awards from that. Two students in IB who got the maximum of 45 out of 45 points and that's called the unicorn because it, it, it's, so, it's so rare. So we have children that have been to all the Ivy League universities, Stanford, UCL, Oxford, Cambridge. Now I want to show you the place where students live. Um, there are two buildings on the territory standing in the front of um, each other. One building for boys and the other for girls. Well, um, the system here is uh, the older you are, the less roommates you have. She meant classes. When we started, we had um, eight people in one room and then two, and now we're living on our own. And there are a lot of various nationalities. Yeah, it's bad, and it's very good because you have um, friends uh, from around the world. Yeah, exactly. It's like um, a small family. You trust each other um, and um, you learn lots of things. We always have three teachers and we also have gap students. It's um, when people just finish the university and um, they want to try to work somewhere or they want to be a teacher. It's a kind of their experience. So yeah, they are watching after us, um, help with uh, homework. We have a teacher, she teach um, history and psychology and she can help with that. Uh, the other one uh, teach um, English and drama. We have the uh, six main subjects, that is our chosen uh, technology, Arabic, English, um, business and drawing. The main subjects here are English, math um, and language, I've chosen Spanish, plus three more subjects, I've chosen psychology and drawing. We have an um, advisor, you can to her saying like I want this, this and this. I got to go to Canada for instance or I want to stay here in Dubai and she helps you to find suitable universities. They try to arrange some activities for us during the week depending on the workload of uh, kids. If you have an um, exam they won't do that. Sometimes we play table tennis or go outside there where we can play basketball. On weekends uh, they take us to the mall or some activities like a desert trip, amusement parks, yeah, we have go-karting, or you just go outside and talk with your... or you can watch a movie. There are movies here, by the way. Now I am in a boys' room. Uh, they put a uniform here just for me to show how it looks. Um, and yes, all students here must wear a, a uniform. A jacket, shorts, a tie, polo. They've got bags and even their own caps. And basically a complete set of uniforms. <laughs> There are always various classes after school. Now I take one physics one, and just just because I I like it. There are also chemistry, Spanish classes. There are a lot of them. I have uh, the same teacher in physics and chemistry. He's my favorite. From he's from Britain. We have a trip to some new place every weekend on Sundays. Um, this week we go to a water park, I guess. One bus for boys, one bus for girls. We are driven to the place together. 
и идут потом uh, там, if it's, if it's it's там, mall, там, мол, там, 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 give us and we just um, do it separately. What don't you like in boarding school? What would you change? They take our phones and laptops at 9pm, the only thing. The first time they try to wake us is 6.30am, some people get up, some people don't, I wake up at 6.45 for instance, I wake up, wash at 7, they take us um, to the cafeteria, That's where we have breakfast, already at 7.30 they send us to school, lessons start at 7.40, um, then we have uh, one 15 minutes break, and the next break is for lunch, they give us 40 minutes to eat, um, to take a breath, after lunch we have two more lessons, school finishes at 2.40, and um, sometimes uh, there are some additional classes, I go to the gym three times a week, play rugby two times a week. The school has tennis courts, um, a pool and a uh, football field. Um, as uh, Javid said, uh, they do rugby and they have also got their own medical center and a therapist. Uh, so if a student gets hurt, then there is always medical staff on the territory of uh, the school, which will take care, um, care of your injury and help to recover. <laughs> We have a communal dining room, it's uh, like a buffet. We have a porridge and fruits for breakfast, sometimes uh, they do milkshakes. For lunch we have um, we have meat, uh, some fish. Yes, we have a menu for lunch, uh, that is, you have uh, five sets, uh, so you fill out a form and uh, choose anything you want for the next week and they give you a pocket so you can take it and win it with your friends. Yeah, we even cook pancakes for a pancake week. I think teachers for every single person is something personal, you have to find a contact so whether someone in, if you don't, you don't really do well in studying. Some teachers are good at that, some are not. And the same thing with lessons, some have the interesting ones and some have boring ones. Where do teachers mainly come from? Uh, mainly from the UK, from New Zealand also. Language teachers are from France, um, Italy, Spain, and we usually have uh, native language teachers, um, German, Arabic, uh, French, Spanish. Sometimes we have um, busy weekends um, when you have exams and you have to go to some activities. But it's a rare situation. Yeah, you can go outside on weekend. Um, uh, you should uh, show a form from parents that you can go outside um, to to a mall to go with your friends or alone, and you have to come back before a certain time. Aqua parks. Um, there are some real decent ones. Some Miracle Garden, um, Glow Garden, Butterfly Park, um, Aquarium in uh, Dubai Mall. There are also a kind of a small zoo. And have you ever flown overseas with the school? Yeah, I have. I flew to China before COVID. I was singing in a choir. A lot of schools gathered there to sing, to perform.